Thank you very much. Uh, visit and see for ourselves the condition you are working in, what you are going through, and to make on the spot assessment and to also hear from you what are the needs and what are the things that you need to work effectively. But before we go on to that, I wish to, on behalf of this committee, joint committee, and the National Assembly, and of course the entire country, we truly appreciate you. I want you to know that Nigerians are with you, and not only with you, Nigerians appreciate you. Chairman, Senate Committee on Army. One thing I want to assure the chairman and uh, the distinguished lawmakers and disassociate theater command and the entire operation last year at the front are the prophecies of doom about how the towns in Northern Bruno will fall, settlements in Yobe State will not be able to be sustained, and all this rubbish. Please tell them in Abuja, not a single town will fall under me, not one. I promised Nigeria when I took over seven weeks ago that I'm going to take the fight to Boko Haram. Officers and men have really supported me. Of course, with the help of the service headquarters. All the towns that usually fall in the dry seasons are standing and doing well. We were tested, badly shaken. But not in the hand of capable people. It will not fall. Not when I'm here. There's a way you solve a problem, it will change the game. I mean, it combat helicopters to hand Boko Haram war. If we have it, if we have it, it will not be deployed like the Air Force assets. Air Force assets are for bigger strategic goals. These helicopters will sleep with us at the trench. They will stay in the front line, so the helicopter and the rifle and the tanks will be together. I know this has been on the table for years. When this is done, Nigeria can forget about Boko Haram. Let me say this, Boko Haram is not a formidable force.